Howdy folks, welcome back. It's me, Impulse. And I'm a special guest. I'm Tango Echo Alpha. Who is armed? With a cup of tea. Yes. As always. As always. Right then, the reason why we're doing this is quite simply, we're going to talk about the, uh, uh, well, firstly give us our opinions on the battlefield, well, a Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> well, you, you could call it Battlefield, I guess, because some people would take the view that it is simply Battlefield skinned with Star Wars stuff, so you could have been correct there, uh, my good friend. Yes, yeah, true, but uh, before we get into the game, what do you think, uh, due to the fact they've now got controllers uh, options in there? Well, I can't see PC players uh, taking that control option up much, can you? Because, uh, you know, any, anybody who plays P PC games often, particularly first-person shooters, will say that the whole point is the control advantage that a mouse gives you. So I can only see it being an aid to help our console um, you know, transfer. brethren yeah, transfer yeah. to the superior platform that is obviously the PC Master Race. Yeah, I'm that's sitting what... here feeling rather <laughs> smug at the moment. <laughs> that's what I think. I think it is r roughly what they're doing is they because there are people are going to see because at the moment on the Xbox One is 720, I believe. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, and on the PS4 it's 900. That's quite scary, isn't it? That yeah. my, my PC's got double the resolution of the Xbox One version. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> so 20p versus 1440. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can see why they do that, because a lot of console players tried it out on uh, one of the uh, conferences on the PC. Right. And they also tried the Xbox version of it. Uh, yeah. They went back and they were asked and they said they preferred the PC version. So I can understand why they put the controller in, because people who play consoles are not usually a very good PC player. So no. they're trying to bring it back in so it's more thing. So I think it's a good idea. And this is the beauty of PC, isn't it? You know, we, we shan't harp on about this for very long, I guess. We'll about just say, you know, the beauty of PC is you can have all this choice. You know, if you want to play with a steering wheel, I guess you could. But you might not get many kills, but I guess the option's there. You can yeah. play with whatever you want. Yeah, this is true. So let's get on with games. First one, uh, what do you think of the graphics itself? Well, I love the graphics. I mean, particularly on a rig like mine, uh, you know, it, it, it's impressive, isn't it? Uh, and the frame rates are pretty good as well, even with all the graphics turn up. I, I'm quite impressed. I mean, obviously, it's a beta. They may improve it even more. But no, I'm quite impressed. I was playing the Tatooine survival mission and uh, looked out across the, um, you know, from the distance of the game, game playing area. And I just thought, wow, this is really beautiful. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed. How about you? I, I really, especially with my system, it's not the most powerful system. I will be only be able to play on high, to be honest, at the moment. But if you look at the quality between high and ultra, there's not much difference. And yeah. to be honest, it, it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I do like it. <laughs> it I must admit, I, it, if it was out on sale tomorrow, I'd probably, probably go out and buy it then. <laughs> well, yeah, and... Uh... I pre-ordered it on the basis of, well, if the game turned out to be a complete lemon, then obviously I could get a refund through the Great Game Guarantee. But I'm uh, I'm feeling quite confident that the game will turn out to be uh, pretty good. I'm 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 optimistic, mate. Yeah, so right then, let's get on with the nitty gritty. Which is your best mod? I know we didn't try walk em, uh, Walker Assault, but uh, what yeah. is your best mod? For me, survival. I I like that horde type mode. It'll be interesting to see what the full game. Uh, offers for the for the survival type mode, the horde mode, because uh, obviously we can only play on Tatooine at the moment and play this first six rounds, is it? So no, six rounds, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what the full game offers for the survival mode. Uh, I must admit, I enjoyed. It. I do like the survival mode. I think it is the best. It's pretty damn good because you're able to play it if you can't go online. Because mm -hmm. I believe they're giving you the option. I think they said they can give you the option if you can't sign on, you can sign off. Because uh, I believe Origin are putting a part update in the software saying if you can't sign online, you can sign in offline mode. Oh right, okay. Onto your PC, so you don't have to go online. It just means it has your games which are on the PC will show up, which are already installed, and you should be able to play. I believe that's what they're bringing in because a lot of people complain about it. Okay. I mean, one of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but. I have one criticism about multiplayer: the fact that when you're playing uh, pod capture, is it? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. There's no match. There's no matchmaking. Okay. The first yeah. time I played it, I played it with everyone virtually the same level. 
Yeah. And next minute, I'm playing in a game where I'm playing against people who are level 25 and 26, and I'm thinking, oh my god. And they've got all the boosts, all the weapons, and I can't get near them. <laughs> yeah. And you'd like to hope that this might be improved. It is a beta, isn't it? But, yeah. uh, you know, for me, going back to that, that type of thing with the multiplayer and the matchmaking, you know, it really needs a server browser, doesn't it? Like, yeah. we just played Battlefield 4 earlier on. To me, not having a server browser is a massive um, omission. And yeah. I can only s assume that DICE at some point will hear what everyone's saying and, and produce one. Yeah, I, I I do I do like it. Uh, there goes that birdie again. You have to get rid yeah. of the pet, you know. Yeah. I have to get rid of my uh, text message uh, <laughs> sending pet, or set it yeah. to silent. Yeah, bit of uh, poor planning there. Yeah, I know. Mine's on, not on silent. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to just press the button. Oh, I'll turn off a minute. <sighs> yeah, so I mean, uh, go, we were obviously talking about the uh, the graphics just a little while ago with your graphics card and, and my setup and obviously the differences the recommended specs were saying 16 gig of ram now obviously i've got 16 gigs and you've got eight haven't you yeah. so how did you find it with just eight gigs of ram i found it pretty damn good especially when i dropped down high when i was playing ultra i was dropping down under 60 frames right uh, i and when i put on the high i was averaging around about uh, my highest was 78 my lowest was 42 at one point Mm -hmm. That was a lot of explosions, but overall I was getting well over 60 frames on high, and that's not bad. I was getting a lot of stuttering, and I think the reason why I was getting stuttering is, is a beta, partly a beta, and the fact that you do need slightly more right, cores okay. than what I got. Yeah, yeah. But overall, they do say uh, high to medium settings, you can play on a, a 6 core, but if right. you want to play any higher, you definitely need that 8 core. You can see it there, you need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, um, I mean, for me, the only thing I found upsetting about the game is, obviously, yeah. you know, you you know, I'm quite into my stormtroopers. Uh, yeah. The prospect of having to shoot poor, poor little defenseless stormtroopers, you know, what have they done to anyone else? So, you know, that's the only bit of the game that I found upsetting so far. <laughs> oh, I found it quite uh, upsetting because I was always spawning in as a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we should just swap roles and we'll be sorted. <laughs> I was going, why am I on the Stormtrooper side again? Because their blaster is powerful, but slow. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, obviously I've got my pre-order in. How are you feeling about it? Are you going to um, pre-order it or are you going to wait? I'm yeah. probably going, because I believe they're going to be doing a, a full game test with a few people and they're going to ask them to uh, release to say what they think of it. Okay. And once they once they done that and see what so they they're picking people who are going to give an honest opinion, which is something I quite like this time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I can unlike, imagine someone like Joker Productions giving yeah. a fairly good uh, honest Angry Joe. Yeah. I mean, That's Joker, another one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if uh, Joker from Joker Production says it's good, then you know it will be because if it's a part of um, you know Dog Turd, then he will quite rightly come out and say that's it. It, it is a steamy part of Dog Turd. Because uh, you look, and you, kudos to him for saying that. I will also say, if they asked uh, Level Cap Gaming to do it, he'll give an honest opinion. Yeah. However, if you asked Ali A, oh, he'll yeah. give you what you pay him for. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. I, I must admit, he's a good player. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he is a good player, but he'll do. If you pay him to say this product is absolutely brilliant and it's not, he'll yeah. do what you pay him for. Okay. Well, I'm going to remain Switzerland in this right. fear of the uh, lawsuit coming my way. Um. <laughs> it's not. It's not that. It's. Uh, it's just what. It's what. It, it, to be honest, a lot of people have said about him, and it's all out there. Okay. But it's, it's, it's a lot of YouTubers which are just in there for the money. Uh, yeah. I'm in it for the fun. Uh, uh, Level Cap is in it for the fun. However, he makes a living out of it. Angry yeah. Joe just does it because he does mainly reviews of games and anyway, and he gives you honest opinions. And I'm in it for the tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I must admit, the one thing I did miss, and I really hate it, I know you could do it in Walker Assault, I would love to just try one of their spaceship flying games, the flying, just yeah. the spaceship mode. I would just yeah. love to go in and see what it was like to play it. But, you know, <laughs> you couldn't join Walker Assault unless you were level uh, a high enough level where you had to boost your uh, anti-droid uh, weapons. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how quickly people rank up because obviously the progress in the beta is not going to carry across to the main game and I don't think nor should it um, but it'd be interesting to see how quickly people rank up I, I've got a few days off 
off work when the game comes out uh, in a spectacular piece of prior planning. Um, so I should be able to rank up fairly quickly, but it'll be interesting to see how quickly the player base ranks up. You said the 19th of November? Is it the 19th? I thought it was the 17th. 17th. On, uh, 17th. I'm on holiday the 19th, but I don't work the 17th. <laughs> ah, okay. So you'll be uh, all right as well then. Yeah, but uh, I have to go away that weekend, so I don't play it much that weekend. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So, in closing then, mate, what do you think? Uh, do you think it's going to be more popular than Battlefield 4, or do you think Battlefield 4 will remain the most popular game? Because I'm thinking Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, but now I'm thinking Battlefield 4, Star Wars Battlefront. And even though it's a Star Wars game, I don't know. What do you think? Right, and uh, be honest, I still think Battlefield 4 will be on top. For some reason, it has tanks. Okay. Uh, You're we have what tanks? No, no, I'm just saying, you got, <laughs> they got the tanks, they got the jeeps, they got the uh, Humvees and all that. Uh, what you've got is walkers, but you can't go in them all the time. Yep. And you've got the little small, the smaller ones, and you've also got ships. Yeah. That's not... Okay. That's not much vehicles, and a lot. Of, uh, that's probably why a lot of people will go back to Battlefield because they'll just play it for the vehicles and all that. Uh, you, a sniper is a pickup. Yes. This is a, to me that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But a okay. lot of people will probably say no. I want to put a sniper. So just don't know that. The problem is we're not seeing all the guns. We're only seeing four out yeah. of the whole collection we got. I believe it's going to be more. We're but comparing over, the beta against the game that's been out for quite yeah. some time. But for as betas go. This is probably one of the best ones out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. I'd agree. Um, you know, certainly. Obviously, I didn't get into the alpha, and I don't think you did either, did you? No. No. Uh, so you know, this is the first I've seen of it, and I'm quite impressed. So yeah. I applied for it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I uh, I told um, the right Ryden, my mate Ryden from Rydenwolf about it. He yeah. bloody well got into the alpha, and I didn't. <laughs> well, that sucks. How <laughs> about that? So, I mean, as for me, do I think it's going to be more popular than Battlefield 4? It's almost, I don't know, if you look at Battlefield 4 at the moment, and you look at Call of Duty, and obviously they're fairly different games. So for me, the impression I have of Star Wars Battlefront at the moment is it's more arcadey than Battlefield 4. And I can see almost maybe some of the player base of Call of Duty coming over to Star Wars Battlefront because it's more of a COD type game. It's not as up there as realistic or as in-depth or as tactical as, say, Battlefield 4. I think it's more of the got the quickness, you know, the yeah. perks in the terms of the things you pick up and everything else. So I think it's more of that Call of Duty style game, but with elements of Battlefield taken in. And then clearly, obviously, it's got the asset of being a Star Wars game in the first place. I don't see it tanking in the same way that Battlefield Hardline did on PC. Um, yeah, I don't that think was that's a shame. Happen. Yeah, that was a shame. Which I've lot... not played yet. I wanted to play it. Yeah, uh, apparently um, Level Cap Gaming saying it, there's going to be an update for it coming very soon, uh, a new DLC. Right. And Level Cap Gaming said for for Battlefield Harder now, and what they need to do is say, right, we need to give us free. We need to bring people back. Yes. And put in new game modes, and that's what they need to do. Hopefully, if they listen and pick up what people are saying about the game, it might. It's only the uh, Hardcore people who have bought it right at the start who have liked it or stayed with mm. it's not many yeah. servers. At most, you probably get on a really good day 20 servers. Yeah, and well, my understanding is I mean, we're digressing quite a bit here, but my understanding is, um, you know, on PlayStation and Xbox, Battlefield Hardline is still quite popular, it's but, the on, best. PC, it's, but on, it's on PC, top. it's yeah. tanked. So, <laughs> you know, for me, it needs to be given away free on Origin or something, yeah, but I don't really see DICE or EA putting a massive amount of effort into Battlefield Hardline now on PC I think they'll probably cut their losses maybe and say okay Battlefield 4 we're going to carry on doing stuff for that because clearly that's a very popular game and we're putting the remainder of our efforts into Star Wars Battlefront because clearly that's just been released and it's a multi-platform game that's just been released that's yeah. my two cents true it's a shame though <laughs> yeah it is a shame it is a shame well, I'm looking forward to uh, Battlefield. Battlefield? Battlefront. <laughs> you got me started right now. <laughs> Battlefront releasing in November, uh, and I will be playing it. Yeah. So, right then. 
Family at the end of this game, just to say, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, you got me doing it now. <laughs> at, at the end of there this, is uh, help available. Yeah. Just call this telephone number. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this commentary, uh, both uh, quick recap that mo both myself and Tango really, really liked the game, enjoyed the beta, and think the game is going to be pretty damn good when it comes out. Please let us know what you think. What if you've tried Absolutely. it, and you know if you enjoyed it, on what kind of system you have, because it would be interesting to find out what you're getting and what kind of system you have compared to ours. Uh, as Tango's got a high t top range spec one, I've got a, what do you call a medium range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's probably probably fair to yeah. describe yours as medium range, yeah. right? It's medium range, which I will hopefully be updating next year with an i7 processor with a 4.5, uh, 4.6 overclock with a nice cooler on it. <laughs> <laughs> and 16 gig RAM, which is a bungle which I've seen on uh, Amazon. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. So, until next time, it's a uh, goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me too. Take care now, folks. Bye for now. Bye for now.